Hey guys, welcome to data structure using Java. I am Ripon Dotto. Today I am going to discuss about the queue implementation. So let's get started. Alright, so let us consider this is a queue. You know, queue is a data structure. Um, you know, queue maintain the FIFO first in, first out. So, and let us consider this is front and this is rear. All right. So this is a queue. So from the front side, I am entering the data. Let us say nine, then seven, then eleven, and like that. So this is a queue, FIFU. I mean first in, first out. So if I want to pop a that item, in this case, first in that means nine will be pop up. So, if I want to pop a data, in this case, then it will be pop. So, in this case, this is now rear and this is front. So, if I put another data, let's say 3, in this case, um, front should be this one okay if you pop the data last one then rear should be this one if you again pop another data in this case rear should be this one so if you pop this item in this case rear should be this position that means there is no data whenever front is greater than or equal rear in that time there is no data now let's get started with eclipse go to file menu new java project q finish the q project right click new cla class q all right so private integer object private integer front private integer rear private integer q size now constructor q Q size. In this case, I want to keep Q size initially three. So, object equal new integer Q size. Initially, front equal minus one, and rear equal minus one okay now let's make push method public void push in this case integer data or item
integer temp equal object q size equal q size into 2 so object equal new integer q size now for i equal 0 to i less than or equal front i plus plus object i equal temp i all right now let us make public integer pop if front is greater than rear then return object rear plus plus rear otherwise return null so in this case we do not use integer so we will use integer object data type instead of primitive data type ok now public boolean is empty return front is greater than or front is equal to rear so whenever front and rear is equal on the time there is no item or let's say front is greater than or equal front is less than or equal that means rear is either equal to front or greater than front on the time there is no item now let us implement let us use it class my qe public aesthetic main okay qe equal new qe qe dot push 11 qe dot push 13 qe dot push 7 then print out print line that pop again nine minus five then we want to print so eleven thirteen seven whenever I am using pop on the time 11 should be popped out then 9 5 again pop that means 13 should be pop up for this pop 7 for this pop 9 and there should only remain minus 5 then this pop will return the minus 5 if I put any extra pop on the time I will get the null so run this project null so why first of all this is push push 11 11 13 7 then 
I am using pop that means 11 should be pop up because first in first out first in 11 second in 13 third in 7 so, so first pop up popped out the first input which is 11 then again 9 that means in the QE now we have 13 7 9 then again push minus 5 that means 13 7 9 minus 5 now pop so in this case 13 is the first in 13 then again pop in this case 7 then again pop in this case 9 then again pop in this case minus 11 5 then again pop in this case there is no item that's why it's return null this one front is greater than rear that's why it's return null or if you print again one more time then we will get true null because there is no item in the QE now we can see in the debug mode so double click add a breakpoint press F11 ok then press F5 front minus 1 Q size 3 so minus 1 plus 1 that means 0 that means condition false so front minus 1 uh, before plus plus that means 0 object 0 should be data which is 11 we can see object 0 position is 11 and again f5 again front is 0 plus 1 that means 1 greater than or equal q size 3 false so front 0 before plus plus that means 1 position in the object 1 position there should be data which is 13 similarly 7 you can see 7 but there is no more space so for the next part oh in the next part I am using pop so front rear is minus 1 front is 2 so in this case we have the data so rear plus 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 rear that means 0 object 0 that means 11 print 11 again push q size 3 front is 2 plus 1 that means equal in this case resize so temp equal object then q size equal to q size into 2 doubling so object equal 6 we have 6 spaces now we can fill the temporary value I mean previous value now you can say 11 13 7 0 0 0 ok then again minus 5 so minus 5 should be front 3 that means in 4 position position 4 0 1 2 3 and 4 so you can see 4 is minus 5 alright and pop rear is now 0 so front is greater than rear that means there is data we can print now which is 13 and again pop now we have what 7 rear is now in that position it will come now in that position 7 then again rear is 2 front is 4 so 9 
again pop still valid 3 front 4 so minus 5 then pop rear is now 4 front is now 4 so in the time there is no data that means null there is no data so null so this is the queue implementation I hope you enjoyed this implementation thank you very much if you don't subscribe this channel yet please subscribe this channel and share this video and make a positive comment in the comment box so see you soon in the next tutorial till then bye bye